Hey guys, it's Elizabeth. Um, I wanted to do the best I could to get eyeball to eyeball with you because that is my preferred method of communication always. And in this space, this is the best I can do for that. So um, write your book in 75 days. The response has been incredible. And we are so excited. I am so honored and flattered and I cannot wait to get started with this new batch of students. And as you know, um, the VIP pricing, the $97 VIP pricing ends tonight. And then the price goes up by $100 next week. So um, what I wanted to do was I've gotten, in the midst of all of this, I've gotten a lot of emails from you guys, which I have absolutely loved. And I've heard two main concerns uh, over and over again from, from a few people. Um, that sounds weird over and over from a few people, but the bottom line is when I take people who have concerns who are on the fence and kind of like, I want to do this so badly and I've wanted to do it for so long, but right. What follows that, but is more often than not one of two things. One of them is I don't have time. And if you fall into that category, I sent out an email yesterday. So I'll encourage you to read that where I address why time isn't really your issue and how to get past that and why this course is different in that way. Uh, long story short, I'm going to be a pain in your neck, um, if you'll allow me to be. So I'm not just going to let you into the course and then uh, just be like, hey, can, do your thing. No. Um, that's where I think that write your book in 75 days as well as publish a profitable book are a little bit different because I really, if I could get you in a room uh, or on a retreat or something and just have you in front of me for weeks or however long this takes and hold your hand and motivate you and reassure you when you need reassurance, I would totally do it. But I, that's not possible with the online environment. So the next best thing I know to do is to completely stay on you and to support you and continue to motivate you and encourage you and uh, move you forward when you get stuck. So time is not your issue. Um, and if it is, we can get you through that. But the other issue that I'm hearing from people is really well summarized in this email that I got from Brandy that Brandy has given me permission to share with you guys. Um, Brandy is a course student and frankly, um, okay, I gotta finish, I gotta pull it up here, kill me now. Um, okay, here we go. So what Brandy said was, for the first time since you and I have been linked up, I'm questioning this thing. Now this isn't the first time I've questioned it in the five years I've wanted to do it, but it is the first time since I've made real progress and you've been helping me. I'm having thoughts like one, there's nothing special here that other authors haven't provided to readers in this category. Two, people are not going to take you, Brandy, seriously due to your lack of education. Three, it's not going to make any sense and there's no way you can bring this full circle. And four, you could seriously sum this 10 chapter book up in three chapters and you're dragging it out. Did you ever go through this? Do you just show it? Did you just shut the voices down and keep writing through the insecurities? And if so, how? So I want to address this big time because this is a huge problem, or I should say a huge challenge, especially for first time authors. And I want to tell you a little, a really brief story. When I wrote my first book, um, I almost said write your book in 75 days. It's on the brain right now. When I wrote my first book, uh, Ready or Not, Here We Come, The Real Expert's Guide to the First Year with Twins, you want to know what my credential was for writing that? Like, I don't have letters after my name. I'm not a psychologist or a sociologist or a nurse or a doctor or any of those things. Um, my credential was that I was a mother of newborn twins. That was it. And that scared the daylights out of me because at the time I thought new parents of twins they're not going to just want somebody else who's been through the trenches. They're going to want an expert to tell them exactly scientifically proven strategies to getting through the crying and the crying. There's a lot of crying. So I was really shocked when that book did as well as it did. And by the way, it continues to. And you know what I kept hearing from readers was, Liz, it's like you're in my living room. That's what they kept saying. And so in the end, I had this moment where I thought, oh my gosh, it's not about being book smart. It's about being life smart. It's about having gone through it. It's about understanding how your reader truly feels, not because you've studied it in a psychology book or magazine or whatever, but because you felt it. You know what they feel like, whether they're struggling with a, a personal growth 
situation, whether it's a business struggle and they're trying to get to the next level and they just don't get why they can't level up. If you've been there, when you've been there and you have your own unique perspective, your own unique personality, the way you look at the situation is different from any, no one can tell the story and no one can motivate and drive your readers in the same way you can. So that's your education and those are your credentials and there are, you could have a thousand letters after your name and it wouldn't be a better credential. I promise you that. So the second thing about there's nothing here that other authors haven't provided. Yes, there is. There's you. There's your unique story and your voice and your strategies and your wisdom and your sense of humor or, you know, the way you motivate people. Everybody has something different. So that's what's different. And that's what people don't give themselves enough credit for because we're not arrogant most of the time. And so we don't sit there and say, oh, my way is going to benefit so many people. But I promise you, it can. So it's not going to make any sense and there's no way you can bring this full circle. That is just fear talking. That's all that is. And that's exactly why all of my programs are step-by-step -step guides. And I'll tell you what, one thing that makes publish a profitable book and write your, anything that we do within publish a profitable book that makes it different is that I'm going to sort of be on your tail if that's okay. Um, so I'm not going to let you slip through the cracks. I'm not going to let you just get busy with life and it falls by. You're going to get emails. You're going to get, uh, hey, where are you? How's it going? How can I help? Where are you stuck? So as, as close as I can get to, dr you know, like dragging you down the path when you need to be dragged down the path, I'm there. I'm here. That's, that's my whole goal with this whole thing is to encourage and enable you because over the years, I cannot tell you how many people I have met with incredible stories and beautiful voices. And the only thing that stops them from doing this is that they don't believe in themselves and they don't have a step-by-step -step program. And I can, I'm pretty sure I can fix both of those um, a step at a time. So if you have any other questions about Write Your Book in 75 Days, please do not hesitate to email me, elizabeth at publishaprofitablebook.com. The uh, button for the cart is below in this email. Um, you can also, it's not just the cart, it's the whole sales page. So you can get probably all of your qu questions answered. But if not, again, email me, email away. I'm always here. And the cart closes tonight at 11.59 Pacific Standard Time. So I can't wait to welcome more of you into the program and start seeing what kind of messages and stories you are ready to share with the world. Talk to you guys soon.